What's cracking, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And you know what? We're gonna bring back Culture Wall because I can't get homie's voice out of my out of my head after that Kate McCannon song. And I felt that it was so super timely. Um, on Joe Rogan just just last week, Post Malone was on there. Really like Post Malone. He's one of my favorite artists uh, of the modern day, even though, you know, humble dude, you know, acknowledging that a lot of his stuff is, you know, thanks to autotune or whatnot. But you know what? I think he writes some great stuff. And it's also just cool that homeboy lives in Utah, too. But they talked about Culture Wall and they listened to Cape McCannon some more. So then me and my brother, we were on a we were on a drive, a long road trip. We we, we drove from Utah to Seattle. And we listened to Kate McCannon several times. So I just felt like watching this, watching some more. And if you if you go down in the description down below, there's going to be a link to Upvoti where you can input suggestions. If you click on that or tap on that, it's going to take you to this landing page. We're uh, trying to save up, you know, some money here so that we can start paying for maybe some more categories and, and arranging this. But in country requests, Culture Wall, Devil Wears a Suit and Tie is the number one request. You know, I'm actually going to merge this one with Kate McCann and I, because we already did Kate McCannon, but I, this just shows that I think a lot of people wanted us on the channel to check out a uh, Culture Wall. So we're checking out the original 16 uh, brewery sessions again. So it's just him live, his, his pure raw talent. The one man show, that unique voice of his, and let's see what he talks about here, because Kate McCannon was a fantastic story. The devil wears a suit and tie. Very, very, uh, very intriguing. Thank you for coming to hang out. In the description down below, you can find other ways to help and continue to support the channel, and thank you all so much. A lot of you uh, support monetarily, and to all of you from the bottom of my heart, thank you. But honestly, you just hanging out with me, liking, hitting like, hitting subscribe, Honestly, just watching. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being you. All right, now let's check out some uh, good music together. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Dude, the blues feel of this. Oh, wow, dude. That di dissonant note right there, bro. Outlaw country, right? This is what this is considered. Dude, he's a great guitarist. Well, Reverend, Reverend, please come quick. <sighs> that voice is back. Gosh, man. I got something to admit I met a man I hit mistakes a good old miss He drove a series 10 Cadillac and wore a cigar on his lip Okay Don't you know the devil wears a suit and tie Driving down the 61 in early July Why does the cotton feel and sharp as a knife? I heard him howling as he passed me by Okay Alright, we've talked about uh, this movie on the channel before But one of my favorite movies growing up was Crossroads Because my favorite guitarist was Steve Vai And uh, they have an interaction with the devil in the on the road wearing a suit and tie just doing a quick look this song is talking about what that story is based on it's about robert J robert johnson legendary blues guitarist selling his soul to the devil the lyrics are written about the interaction between the two from but from robert's perspective so it's this dude ta like confessing about this interaction with the devil dude the blues guitar sounds so good and the voice of his why I don't know what makes it sound so good because it's like it's it's weird. It, it is like a weird voice, but it works. Yeah, nice. Mm, he said, "I know you. I know you, young man." Well, I know you by the state of your hands. 
You're a six string picker, just as I am. The devil also plays the guitar. Will let me learn you someone know a few turns to make all the girls dance. Don't you know the devil wears a suit and tie? So driving down the 61 in early July. Why does the cotton feel as sharp as a knife? I heard him howling as he passed me by. Hey. The devil's tempting him with this talent to get the girls. Now they're other things. Quilter sing. I've noticed this consistent with this old school country, the beats, oh, like a train track. Foolish, foolish, was I. Damn my foolish eyes. That man's lesson, how to prize the sweet mm. pride. My sweet soul, everlasting, my very own, eternal light. Oh, wow. Don't you know that the devil wears a suit and tie? So I'm driving down Dude, the what a dope way to bring that July. beat back. Why does the cotton feel as sharp as a knife? I heard him howling as he passed me by. Well, the devil wears a suit and tie. So I'm driving down the 61 in early July. Why does the cotton feel as sharp as a knife? I heard him howling as he passed me by. Oh, dude, I love it. And I love the feel of this live performance, bro. Gosh, it just sounds so raw and so real. Because it is. What a breath of fresh air he is, man. He was 22 when he recorded this. I feel like this dude is like giving the best sort of tribute to Johnny Cash and maybe some of his heroes ever by performing this similar type of music. But... He's not, but he's also bringing his own, right? I mean, he's such a good songwriter, dude. Oh, this is a great comment here. I apologize for always saying country music sucks. This is awesome. Too many of y'all are looking over the fact that it's just him and a kick drum and an old ass f guitar. You are witnessing greatness. <laughs> I played this for my seven-year-old daughter. Now she works as a bartender in a honky-tonk bar, chewing tobacco and cussing out truck drivers. Imagine when she turns eight. <laughs> um, you know what? Um, so Kate McCannon. I preferred the version of the original 16 than the Spotify version maybe my brother were listening to in the car. I wonder if this if it's the same. I haven't listened to the Spotify version or, or just like the one that's like published. Let me know. But I love the feel of this, man. I love the feel like I'm in the room and then you just recognize this guy is just purely talented. Gosh, I want to hang out with the dude. I don't know. Like he'd be the guy that you go to the blues bar. You sit down, even though I don't drink. So I don't like go to bars. So this is weird for me to say. But you go, you sit down and you start talking to this guy. He's cool. He's chill. And all of a sudden, they announce the next performer, and he stands up, walks up, and you're just like, okay. And then he starts performing, and it's like, oh, that sounds pretty good. But then he keeps performing, and you're like, oh, my gosh. It's like he took that deal. I don't understand how just the guitar that has a capo in it that sounds weird with the kick drum, with that incredible voice, it is one of the most interesting things I've ever, you know, I've... I've I've heard of freaking fantastic. Absolutely love it. Well, guys, I'm anxious to hear about y'all from y'all. When did I start saying y'all so much? Can't, hear, can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts. Comment down below. Thank you all for the support again. Check out the description to find other ways to engage and help out the channel. 
and I um I think we're gonna start live streaming a little bit more, and I'd love uh, to see some of you guys there when we when we do it. We're still I'm still trying to figure out time and and stuff like that for it. But anyway, much love everybody. Peace.